ஹாய் எவ்ரி ஒன் வெல்கம் பேக் டு டெக்ஸ்டைல் அண்ட் கார்மெண்ட் மெர்ச்சண்டைசிங் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் ஃபேப்ரிக் கன்செப்ஷன் கால்குலேஷன் தட் இஸ் ஹவு மெனி கிராம்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஃபேப்ரிக் ரெக்வேர்ட் இன் ஆர்டர் டு மேக் ஒன் கவர்மெண்ட் சி தேர் ஆர் டூ மெத்தட் ஆஃப் கால்குலேட்டிங் ஃபேப்ரிக் கன்செப்ஷன் தட் இஸ் யூசிங் ஃபார்முலா that is a uh, traditional method and the next one is uh, using cat that is computer aided design so this is a uh, calculating fabric conception calculation by using the softwares let us discuss one by one so uh, first we will discuss about the formula method so the formula is body length plus sleeve length plus allowance into half chest plus allowance into 2 into gsm divided by 100 into 100 uh, before explaining the formula let me explain the terms inside the formula like we discussed body length in the formula so this is called body length that is from this point to this point is called as uh, body length uh, sleeve length means this point to this point this is called uh, sleeve length chest circumference so this whole circle is called as uh, chest circumference but formula we we need only half chest that is from this point to uh, this point so i hope you would understand what is body length what is sleeve length and what is half chest so let us discuss uh, uh, this one that is allowance what do you mean by allowance means say for example for body length uh, while stitching a garment uh, you will lose 2 cm in the bottom hem and also 0.5 cm you will lose in the body length so if you want 30 cm of body length in the finished garment 2 cm 2 extra 2 uh, extra cm is required in bottom and 0.5 cm is required uh, in the top so if you want 30 cm in finished garment you need 32.5 cm pattern size uh, the same is applicable for sleeve also so in this space uh, you will lose 2 cm in the hemming process and also while attaching sleeve in the body 0.5 cm you will, you will lose so you need uh, 2.5 cm allowance for sleeve and body length also you need 2.5 cm for chest uh, in the side seam while stitching a garments you will lose 1 cm here and here so for cal- while calculating the fabric conception uh, for chest you should give 2 cm allowance 1 cm here and 1 cm here so i hope uh, now you got uh, some better clarity about uh, what is body length what is sleeve length and allowance half chest uh, let us discuss one by one in detail let me explain how this formula evolves you just see this diagram so that you can understand so this is a front panel of a t-shirt and this is a sleeve pattern of a t-shirt so remember uh, what uh, what shape is it you just look this uh, outline of this uh, picture so this picture looks like a rectangle right so what is the formula for calculating the area of a rectangle so i hope you would have studied in your schools that is uh, l into b that is uh, length and breadth the same formula we are applying here in a different way you just uh, look this formula so that you will understand so this one is length of this rectangle we are adding body length sleeve length and allowance so this is a uh, body length and from this point to this point is sleeve length so simply we are adding body length sleeve length and then allowance so this is uh, l so 
so then what is b you just look, look this part of a formula this is called a b this is that is a half chest from this point to this point half chest plus allowance so one centimeter here and one centimeter here so simply we are using that same formula which we have studied in the uh, school days that is length into breadth why we are multiplying with two because to make a t-shirt you need uh, two sleeves and uh, one front panel and one back panel so that's why we are multiplying this with two and then why uh, we are dividing this by 100 into 100 it's because in order to convert the centimeter into meter uh, we are dividing this by 100 into 100 so in this formula in this part you will get one centimeter and then in this part also you will get one centimeter so that you are using two hundreds and then when you are multiplying with gsm you will get how many grams required to uh, make one garments so if you are not multiplying with gsm you will get uh, fabric consumption in terms of meter square so in order to convert the meter square into grams you are multiplying this with gsm so uh, whatever the style is try to convert uh, that into any mathematical shapes so that it is easier for you to calculate the fabric conception why because if there is uh, some styles assume that this is the pattern of some style so uh, in maths you do not have any formula for this so try to convert this as a rectangle so that you can use the formula l into b sorry l into b in order to calculate uh, the area so with the help of area you can uh, calculate the fabric conception in uh, meter square if you multiply that with gsm you will get grams So assume that uh, this is the measurement of round neck t-shirt that is uh, length of garments is 75 cm, sleeve length 25 cm, chest circumference 100 cm and GSM 180. So this is the measurement uh, which buyer is looking for. So what is the fabric conception for this measurement? So you just apply this formula you will get uh, fabric conception that is body length 75 cm sleeve length 25 centimeter and then allowance 5 centimeter for example uh, for body length uh, 2.5 centimeter is allowance and then for sleeve also you need to give the same allowance 2.5 centimeter so it becomes 2.5 plus 2.5 5 centimeter And then when you come to the second part half chest that is uh, in in the measurement they gave uh, chest circumference so while calculating fabric conception we need only half chest so it is 50 centimeter and allowance is uh, 2 centimeter for the chest uh, for side uh, side seam allowance and we are multiplying this with 2 180 gsm and then we are dividing entire thing by 100 into 100 so that the value is 196.56 grams so this is the uh, fabric uh, conception which you need uh, in order to make one garment let us discuss the fabric conception calculation by using CAD program that is computer aided designing program so this is how a CAD program uh, looks like so uh, when you when you remember while explaining the uh, formula methods i explained you how this formula evolves the same way you you should think here so you just look this the outline of this diagram how this shape is looking like this is also looks like a rectangle so you can apply the same formula here a little bit of changes so this part is called as uh, 
lay length and this is called uh, this part is called lay width so this one is lay l and this one is uh, b so with this cat program you can use this program for two purpose one is uh, to fix the knitting uh, dia you can use this cat program the second one is to calculate fabric conception you can use let us discuss the second purpose so in order to calculate the fabric conception using cat program uh, length of the lay into width of the lay simply it is ln to b the same formula l into b divided by 100 into 100 so when you do this only this part you will get uh, the area of a particular lay in meter square then when you multiply this with gsm uh, you will get the weight of lay total weight of the lay so when you divided that answer by number of pieces you will get the weight for one pieces so in this uh, cat program assume that the length of lay is 500 centimeter width of lay is 150 centimeter and gsm is 180 then we are dividing this by 100 into 100 then 6 means uh, number of pieces per lay so when you look this diagram totally 6 pieces are there this 1 uh, 2 3 4 5 and then 6 so number of pieces per lay is 6 so that you will get 225 grams as piece weight so this is the uh, second method which you can use uh, with the help of CAD program. I hope you will get a little clarity about this and uh, if you have any doubt uh, you can write a mail to this ID. I hope this video is useful to you. Thank you.